Honey, I'm ready to go. Come on, lock the door. Uh, I don't have a good feeling for this new hunting game. I mean, there is no kind of meat we cannot afford in the market. Our own kind of hunting is just for a game. Look, Jack and I don't hunt for meat. Just call it a recreation for the boys. Whatever you call it. How can you be spending most of your night in the bush? This is crazy. Can't you see? Get me my wristwatch, please. for you before you get into the bush. That would be nice. Okay. Um, when is your wife? Let me say hello to her. I think she's sleeping. Uh, yes. Let's go. I didn't tell you I was going to sleep. Jack. Yeah. Good evening. Yeah. Good evening. I said none kids. Fantastic. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. Jack. This is your new hunting attitude. If your wife likes it, I am not comfortable with it. Can't you guys look for something else to relax with? I mean, anything. It's okay. Yeah, yeah it's okay. You know, they don't know what the boys like. There so is too much. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Give me. I don't make me. I'll take my mind. and wait for their return. That's okay. Um, Have you forgotten that my gun is not firing? Oh, sure, sure. Uh, let, me, let me try it.
Yes, please. Is he going to make it? Uh, he will make it, but uh, he needs plenty of rest for now. It's true. Madam, 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 madam. Calm down, calm down. He needs plenty of rest. Because if you have rice, you might have to ask you to go to the reception. So please be calm. Okay.
all happened within 24 hours. We were all battling to save Dr. Khan. Please, you have to save my husband. He's innocent. It was an accident. Please do something. Oh. Okay. I'm sure you know. I'm going to do everything possible. I'll try my best to get him off the hook. Okay? Meanwhile, just give me some seconds. Let me get my briefcase. We have to get to the station. Problem, Sergeant. Vice Tony is here to see you, sir. <sighs> okay, let him in. Good day, sir. Oh, good day, Barry, sir. How's the family? Well, everyone is fine, and you? Sit down. Thank you very much. So, is there anything we could do for you? 
Um, yes, I'm here in respect of Mr. Jack, the man that was arrested for Dr. Kanu's death. He's actually my client and I want to take him on bail. <sighs> that man is going to court on Wednesday. The prosecuting lawyer just left my office. Oh my God. Please, I need your help. I need you to help me out, please. I'm not really being disposed to give you the needed help. As you can see, Dr. Carlos' wife is walking around the clock to make sure your client does not go free. I'm afraid, Barrister, you have a case this time around. <laughs> you see, both men were very good friends. And I still wonder why Mrs. Khan will want to go to that extent. <sighs> anyway, I, I still insist that you release my client on bail. You know that's not possible. This is a murder case. I advise you, Barrister, to go and prepare for court on Wednesday. Good day, Barrister. Show an absolute freedom for your husband, all right? But by the grace of God, it's going to be attainable. Um, we don't have time now. I'm going to meet you at the court tomorrow. Thank you. Come back. Never, ever step up for this compound again. Do you hear me? Go. Madam Lodi, I'm not bothered to check for her. But I can even see Mrs. Kano from here. Eh? Please, let me go and see her. It is very, very important, I beg. Please leave before I push you out. Don't you know me again? I don't care. She doesn't want to see you. Please leave. Hey! Do I go from here? On the sack in here, I bet. Go. She wants her husband to leave. After killing her. That's impossible. It's not going to happen. I am going to fight back.
You look so pale. What? I wouldn't have talked to you if not for God. Imagine all of you that called yourself my friends. You abandoned me to my problems. Rita, you know it's not true. Stop talking like that. How can I of all people abandon you? Look, I've been in Fire Paris for like two months and I only just got back to hear what happened. I'm so sorry. I'm confused. Maybe my husband has less than a month to leave. No, no, God forbid. Don't talk like that. Look, you know I'm always here for you, right? I'm always here for you. So just tell me where and how to help and I'll do it. Can you imagine? I'm just coming from our friend's house, Mrs. Kanu. And what did she say? <laughs> I was humiliated. The gates man could not even let me in. Our own friend. It's okay. it's, come on, you know you can't predict people. Um, you know what? I will go and see Mrs. Kanu myself, right? Yeah. But before then, you and I have to really sit down and talk about this whole thing, okay? I need the complete details of the whole event, right? Just calm down. Thank you. Be okay. Thank okay. you very much. Then let's go to my house immediately. All right, all right. I'm right behind you, okay? Traveled to Paris on business, and I just came in and I heard what happened. Take part, my dear. Hmm? I'm trying, you know, but it's so hard. So yes. hard. Yeah, I understand how you feel, but I think you should carry on and be that great woman that you are. Hmm? I implore you to put everything behind you the death of your husband and even the cause of your death, they're all irreversible. And any harm you make right now will only be an addition to the agony you're already going through. But you know, my sister, I am trying. But the pain is too much for me alone to bear. Do you know, the pain is too much. But one thing I assure myself is that anybody that has a hand in the death of my husband will not go unpunished. It's a promise. I understand this. But, you know, as humans, we should be godly in all our dealings, huh? Stella, I strongly think you should let Mr. Jack go. What? If not for the sake of your husband, maybe for the sake of your family. Oh. 
I'll go and see that person tomorrow morning. Okay. Pastor, please help me. Please don't let them kill my husband. What happened to your husband? You know what I have? Please do something. Nothing will happen to your husband. Nothing will happen to your husband. Please. Get up, get up. Nothing will happen to your husband. The Lord is in control of this situation. The Lord is in control. I'll go talk to her. I'm sure she will have a change of mind. Thank you for being here. Hold yourself, hold yourself. Oh. The Lord is in total confidence. Thank you. Can I, can I pray for you? Now let me pray. Our Father will give you all the glory. Will give you all the adoration. Father, you are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the beginning and the end. You are the I am and I am. Jehovah, there is nothing you don't know. Jehovah, thank you for this very good. Thank you for the families of the Jacks and the Canons. Jehovah, by the heaven, let your peace reign control. Amen. Jehovah, by the heaven, take control of all situations. Jehovah, by the heaven, thank you. You know what is happening in these two families. But Jehovah, by the heaven, I know that you're God of peace. Thank you, Father, in heaven. Thank you. For in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. So, Pastor, you called this miserable existence without my husband's life. This is not life. There is no life. No, 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 sister. You see, your husband, for all I know now, might be in heaven now saying, Give hallelujah to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And we are here on air troubling ourselves. Can't you see? You might be right, Pastor. But my husband died a painful death he never deserved. I knew something terrible was going to happen on that fateful day. And I tried all I could to stop him from going hunting. Pastor, here I am today, we do. Look at me. It's okay, it's okay. The Lord is doing a new thing in your life. I'm sure he will do it, allow him to take control of the situation. You see, sister, I would want you to do me a favor. What favor? Yes. I want you to go and withdraw that case from court. What? Yes. yes. What happened could have been an accident. Mr. Jack couldn't have come here, prized your husband to the bush and killed him cold bodily It wasn't deliberate. It was an accident, huh? That is what Jack is using as an alibi. And nothing, I mean nobody, is going to stop me from inflicting pain on Mr. Jack. He killed my husband and he's going to pay for it. Oh, no, 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 madam. You see, that's where you're wrong. Vengeance is of the Lord. Allow God into this very situation. I'm sure he would do something if Jack deliberately killed your husband. Mm -hmm. Vengeance is of the Lord, though. I know. I'm sorry, Pastor. I just have to disobey you. I can't do what you're asking me to do. I can't. And uh, I think... Please, Barrister. My husband has to leave. What do you want me to do? No, answer me. What do you want me to do? Look, 
psychotic. I've been receiving death threats from people I don't even know. And I don't even care to know about them. Look, this case has made me do things I shouldn't have done in the first place. And now we still have to do more. We need one million naira to pass through the Minister of Justice. Or I quit. Since the Kami family has taken over the entire states. to get such money from. Please help me. Please. So, are you expecting me to raise the money? Is that what you want to do? Or you're trying to do? Look, if you want to justify my efforts, go ahead. No. Do whatever you want to do. I and my husband cannot afford such money. Please. Where will I get that from? play chess and I don't understand a single word you have said so please make me understand the lawyer is threatening to pull out of the case if I don't provide him with all necessary resources needed I'm the only one left out to defend my husband in the law court tell me why won't he die <laughs> Is that why you want to slice your throat in before the judgment? <laughs> well, Rita, I don't know if you and your husband are ready to help us. that he gets out of that place. We are sure you will do anything. You're willing to do anything. No. I've got good news for you. I'll help you. Mm -hmm. Your husband is as good as out of that place. Virginia. Come on. What can I hey, do? Come on. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Don't start. Don't start now. Thank you very much. Come on. Get up. <laughs> what are friends for? It's okay. Let her speak for herself. Wait for me. My husband is taking this shot, he's fine. And, and he died. Everyone else has got to play with his wife. But the woman will listen. What do you want the black hood to do for you, woman? 
I want my husband freed. The Black Hood does not take life to save life. But we must have to take something. We must have to take that which we desire. Anything, sir. Anything you want to take. I'm ready. Let my husband be free. The Black Hood does not shelter on them. To your nation, initiation, if he's freed, then come over and make promise. Would you put your tongue into that bar and make your promise right in your heart? Promise right in your heart. So shall it be, you must keep your Draw the keys. Go! Sit down, madam. I'm here to see you. I know. Is there anything we can do for you? Yes, DP. I want Mr. Jack to release, and I don't want to carry with these kids anymore. What? Are you joking or what? No, DP. All this while, I've been going contrary to my husband's wish. He told me everything and how it all happened. It was just an accident. It wasn't intentional. Well, as you can see, everything has gone beyond my capacity and control. I'll advise you, madam, that you see your lawyer. I've already called my lawyer on phone. Is that what you want, madam? Yes. Mr. Jack, out. Okay, Sergeant, sir, are you sure that that woman is okay? I am not too comfortable with her behaviors. I sense a foul play here. But I think I sense the same thing to do Okay, Sarge. You follow it up. Thank you, sir. Wait, 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 mother, wait. 
Ma'am, do you understand the implications of what you're trying to do? Yes, Barista. I know the implications. I have given my words. I will not step into that court again. Please, Barista. Withdraw the suit filed against Mr. Jack. I don't want to spill innocent blood. You baffle me. You baffle me. You can't be doing this at this point in time. If you go to that court on Thursday, you're on your own. And if anything happens to Mr. Jack, his blood shall be on your head. What? What has come over you? What has come over you, Mrs. Kanu? Good spirit. Good spirit. If you don't want to go and talk to the magistrate, I will do that myself. I've already spoken to the, to the DPU. What? What is this? I can't believe this. Situation within 24 hours is amazing when all hope was almost lost. <laughs> My dear, I don't know how to thank this God that did this for me. Ah, uh, you can say that again. <laughs> if not, they would have taken it away from me. <laughs> you see, if you ask me, really, I think um, Mrs. Kam should be applauded for her for her immediate change of mind. Because she took the right decision at the right time. Yes. I think I'll personally go and thank her myself. Oh, better. You know? May God bless that woman. Hey, look, who knows what would have happened to me if she hadn't taken that step? <laughs> Maybe a rope would have been good. <laughs> <laughs> God forbid. I am not part of this. I'm not going to see anybody. And this persuasion has to stop. Now! Have you ever bothered knowing what led to your release? Of course! Mrs. Kano changed her mind. Oh, God bless that woman. And what we should be thinking and talking about is how to go and say thank you to that woman. And not your talking me into going to see some faceless demons. Look, cut me out of this contamination, okay? You don't understand. Eugenia came to the house here and promised to help me, which she did, and it worked. Did what? And what worked? She introduced me to some friends, and they helped me, and you're out! I don't know if you and your husband are ready to help yourselves, because it's very easy, very easy. Jack is the only thing I've got in the world. I will do anything, anything, anything you want to take. I'm ready. Let my husband be free. The black hole does not shelter no members. I promise to bring my husband to your next initiation if he's freed. Then come over and make a promise. Did you call me to that bar? I'm making a promise right in your heart. I promise to bring you, if they save your life, which they did, they've done their part, it's left for us to do our own part. 
you think. You're not 
seen anything. Then I must take you to the hospital. It's okay. Oh my God. No. It's Three different hospitals, all to no avail. And the most troubling thing is that the doctors have been unable to diagnose anything in particular. Go and discharge her from the hospital. Don't waste the little money you have. It will end up in a wild goose chase. What do you mean, Holy Man? She has become blind. She gave her sight to set you free. Your life is greater than her sight. Are you saying that my wife can never see? The black hood does not take life to give life. She promised to give anything aside from her life. And the Supreme One has taken that which he desires. Oh, my lovely wife. Oh, my goodness. I guess you remember, Mr. Jack, that no one cries when the Supreme One takes that which he pledged. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Gather yourself together and think about how to step into the upper class and be as rich as other members. The black hood is here to help you in all your desire. But you must be courageous, Mr. Jack. <laughs> 